Hi, I'd like to tell you about our project, learning a population of parameters. So what do these situations have in common? Genetic traits, such as the gender of offspring, whether or not a particular shot by a basketball player is a make or a miss, whether or not a particular flight leaves on time, and the outcomes of political elections. In some sense, they can all be modeled as being governed by a binomial random variable. Now suppose I'm researching basketball players and I become interested in Steph Curry's three-point shooting percentage. So let's say I go to a game and I watch Curry shoot some three-pointers. He makes the first one, misses a few, makes the next one, misses two more, and hits one last three before time runs out. Now based on our observations, we can't hope to do any better in guessing P, the latent parameter, than the maximum likelihood estimator, which in this case is just the empirical proportion of makes, three-sevenths. So is there no hope to doing better in this parameter estimation problem? Actually, the individual model of estimation is restrictive, since we usually are dealing with the population of these parameters. It's often more interesting to estimate this distribution, which then tells us something about the individual. For example, just because Curry shoots 1 for 11 in one game, and then 7 for 12 a few games later, do we really think his latent parameter changed that drastically from game to game? By using the population of games, we can hope to denoise the empirical distribution. Formally, our problem setting is when we have a population of n individuals, and member i of the population has an associated latent parameter pi with its binomial random variable. For example, the population could be basketball games, or counties in an election. We get to see t tosses of each random variable. And the goal is to provide an algorithm which outputs some distribution q that is close to the true population distribution, ppop, in Washington distance, which is essentially how much mass that needs to be moved to turn one distribution into another. No, not coach pop, P pop. So how should we produce Q? If we return the empirical MLE distribution, Q will have Washerstein distance O of 1 over root T to the truth. In many cases, this is no good. Our results show that for sufficiently large populations, we can recover the true distribution to distance O of 1 over T. This rate is optimal, and we provide a matching lower bound. Also, we show that this generalizes to populations of multivariate parameters. We verified that our recovery algorithm successfully recovered distributions generated from synthetic parameters. Then, we used the algorithm to recover distributions in various empirical settings to test hypotheses. One interesting example is whether NBA players have hot nights and cold nights, or if their shooting is actually pretty similar game to game. We found that the distribution of Curry's game to game parameters was very tightly centered, whereas for other players like Danny Green, the distribution is much more spread. In other words, we give the following comparison. Thank you for listening to our presentation, and please check out our paper. The link is in the description.